Okay, great. Well, hello everyone. Um, this is Erin again from the Block Career Center at UMKC. And today I have Micah McGinnis with me from Select Quote, and she is going to be answering some questions that um, we wanted to ask about really how she uses LinkedIn um, to source talent. Um, before we jump into those questions though, Micah, would you like to go ahead and introduce yourself and talk about your experience with Select Quote and, and really the kinds of positions that, that you actively hire for? Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Um, so again, my name is Micah McGinnis and I am our campus recruiter at Select Quote. Select Quote, we are located in Overland Park, Kansas. We have multiple other locations and remote um, positions available right now. Um, but we are an insurance brokerage. So again, our headquarters is in Overland Park. And due to COVID-19, um, we are actually currently hiring still throughout all of this. Um, we are very tech heavy and things, so remote work is um, easy for us and it's accessible. So that is something that we are super humble about. Um, currently, we are hiring for corporate roles and sales roles, as well as HR. Um, so a lot of roles for really um, entry level to any other professional level is welcome for applying. Um, so I definitely can give you that information where they can go and look at our current job openings um, after we're done here. Yeah, great. Well, thank you, Micah. Um, so obviously students are trying to really identify any opportunity they can to look for not only um, full-time job opportunities, but internships or part-time jobs as, you know, they may have lost those during different layoffs and, and furloughs. And so, um, so we're really advising students to, to use LinkedIn actively um, to, to be a good resource for them as they're trying to identify those opportunities. Would you mind telling us how you, um, in your role, use LinkedIn to source talent? Absolutely. So LinkedIn has been kind of our bread and butter. I would especially say right now, just through everything and being remote. Um, you know, when we go on LinkedIn, especially as campus recruiters, that is my biggest um, token to connect with um, you know, folks like you, Erin, at UMKC and other universities, and that's kind of how I create those relationships, as well as connecting with students. Um, a big, big thing I can give to you guys is keywords that we look for are those universities you're part of. So making sure that you put your university on there, um, as well as your majors, even your minors, um, those keywords come into play a lot as well as kind of your interests and what year you're graduating, I would say is a big tip because sometimes when we're searching specifically for 2020 grads, whether that's May or December, um, that's been a really big hot ticket lately for us, just looking for specific students with specific um, graduation dates and um, their degrees. Okay, great, perfect. Um, so what are some things that students can do to really make their profiles stand out? Yeah, that's a great question. So I know when I'm looking and a couple of other recruiters, you know, our corporate recruiters use LinkedIn a lot as well, looking for those marketing, finance, accounting students. Um, we look at your profile pictures just to make sure it's professional. Um, and that's, you know, that's something that necessarily if you don't have a profile picture, it doesn't mean like we're going to DQ you, um, but it does help put a face to a name um, and it helps us identify, you know, if that person's interested sometimes, you know, if they have a professional photo um, and kind of just a little nugget of photos. Um, you know, we try to stay away, you know, if you're taking a profile picture from the selfies, to try and maybe get someone to take a picture of you with a very simple background, good lighting, natural lighting in front of kind of a window. Um, I know sometimes during this time, especially when you're job hunting, getting a professional photo can be hard. Um, but I would say, you know, that's not going to make or break you. But I would say a profile picture is definitely like a good start. Um, also, those keywords, just having, you know, your degree, your major, um, your minor, sometimes your GPA. I know some people look at um, with certain positions we're looking for. I know sometimes we have a specific um, GPA we're looking at. Also, um, 
those interests. There's a lot of sections in LinkedIn that you can get endorsed by your current professors, even um, you know classmates that you're a part of, and adding ones like presentations and just adding those keywords and those those will pop up for us as recruiters that are looking for you. Um, so definitely just making sure every section is filled out or you can eliminate those sections in LinkedIn if you don't have anything to put in it right now. Yeah, great. Yeah, we always try to coach students on how really telling them that LinkedIn is a way for them to describe themselves that their resume can't because they can add projects, those endorsements that you talked about. And so resumes are a little obviously more limiting in, in how they can talk about themselves. So we really do try to encourage them to, um, to utilize all of those different sections in LinkedIn as much as they as much as they can. Yeah. And another quick thing, there is a, se a section where you can put like links. And so I know for some of the tech students, um, putting your profiles there of the projects that you specifically have worked on and you have your own website to display those. I know a lot of our hiring managers ask for those even before the interview process. So I think that's good just to have. Um, yeah. So as we're viewing profiles, having those projects available for us to even look at before we kind of enter that interview process is something. Yeah, great. Um, so we talked about the profile picture, um, obviously. So would you say um, it, would you rather have a student not have a profile picture versus something that would be considered unprofessional? Does that make a difference to you? That's tough. Um, I don't think we've never not hired someone just based on their profile picture. Okay. Um, whether it's professional or not, um, that definitely doesn't sway us as select quote at all. Okay. Um, I would say for, you know, other business professionals that might. Okay. Um, so I would say if you're looking to jump on board somewhere and you're looking at their profile pictures and they look pretty professional and about everyone has one, maybe just wait and hold off on a profile picture because I know there are some people who don't have them. Um, and that's totally fine. Like I said, it doesn't make or break someone, but I think mm -hmm. we would rather have it look professional than like your Facebook profile picture that your family and your friends can see. Um, sure. Because LinkedIn is, you know, a really good social media profile for you professionally. Um, you know, it does make you stand out when you do have one. Um, I have ran into a lot of students that don't have one. And that's like my first thing I tell them to do is go home and make a LinkedIn profile because um, mm -hmm. it does set you apart. Yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely. Well, and just a plug for a service that UMKC offers once um, the university opens back up and we're back on campus, um, students can get free headshots um, through our university photographer. Um, so if you okay. have any questions about that, just reach out to our office and we can help get that set up for you as well. And they do a really good job. And we always have headshots at our career fairs as well that students can have taken. So you're already dressed up, you know, for the career fair. And so you might as well just get your headshot taken there also. Um, another question I had, are there any particular sections like endorsements or projects that you don't really care as much about? Or should students try to have a pretty complete and well-rounded profile? Yeah, I mean, I think having something there is great, but don't put stuff there that doesn't make sense for what you're looking for. Okay. Um, personally, you know, I have things on there that make sense for my current job and people endorse me where I'm at currently at Select Quote and maybe in my previous roles that I've been somewhere um, heavily like maybe in marketing, I've kind of taken things down that I don't really want people searching me for because mm -hmm. um, I'd rather show my, um, you know, show some th other things that I want to be like focusing more on and be endorsed by. Um, uh -huh. So definitely don't overdo it. If you don't have the resources or the links, you can eliminate those pages in LinkedIn um, until you start getting, you know, more experience and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Those were really all of the questions that I had for you, Micah. Do you have anything else that you would like to add um, about LinkedIn or really what you're doing to identify candidates right now? Yeah. Um, well, first off, just thank you for having me. Um, yeah. You know, my biggest thing is to me, I think LinkedIn is really important at this day and age, especially with going through how 
the new social norms are going to start being um, as we kind of stop working remotely and go back into the office. Um, so I would encourage, you know, those who are watching, um, students that may not have a profile yet on LinkedIn, um, or if you do like go and update that now while you're at home and while you're, you know, seeking new employers. Um, and I think the biggest thing that I've learned, um, you know, being in my professional, um, work career is that connecting with whomever you think will be in your future, um, and just making those connections on LinkedIn, I think is really important right now while you're still whether you're in school or taking finals or you know entering this summer just building those connections um and i know due to a lot of this some students have lost their internships mm -hmm. um so even if you can get you know into someone's linkedin messages to shadow or you know just have a phone call um linkedin is a really good place to start reaching people mm -hmm. um so that would be kind of like my biggest two cents on linkedin and what you can be yeah. doing to be active um, you know, we are, like I said, hiring at Select Quote. So if it's something you're interested in learning more about, you can connect with me on LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> um, and my email's there. So if you want to shoot me an email or a direct message, I'm happy to help and lead you in the right direction um, in any way. Yeah. Well, that's great. And I guess that brings up just, I guess, one more question is, do you think, do you like it when students direct message you kind of out of the blue? Um, like they saw a job at Select Quote and they applied, but they may not have heard anything back yet and decided to shoot you a message or they're just trying to look at expanding their network. Um, does that, how do you feel about that? I personally don't mind it. Um, no. As a campus recruiter, that is my duty to be receptive and be open to having those conversations. And if I'm not like the point person for a job, um, so to speak, I try to get that student in the recruiter's hands that are handling that job. Mm -hmm. um, I will say LinkedIn is very tricky sometimes when it comes to messages. I feel like sometimes it takes a couple times for a student or individual to reach out to me about a specific job sometimes because they just get lost. The way sure. messages work in LinkedIn, it just kind of piles up as many as come in. Um, and so, yeah, I would say if you see an employer, someone you're connected to on LinkedIn posting about a job, um, I would say comment um, as well on that posting saying like, hey, I've emailed you or hey, I've applied, I haven't heard back. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, because that's our job at, you know, any type of workplace to respond to those because we want, you know, new talent and we want to be able to communicate, mm -hmm. you know, if that job's closed or whatever has happened due to that. So, yeah. Yeah. No, that's great. Well, thank you again, Micah. I appreciate you taking a little bit of time out of your day to, um, to answer these questions. And we'll also be doing, in response to what you said, like a part two of this um, with our professional development man manager. And she'll be talking about basically how to implement what you talked about into a student's profile, which will be exciting. So. Um, I appreciate um, you taking time today and, and let us know if you need anything. So. Awesome. Thank you so much, Erin. Yeah, thank me. you.